As the Israel-Hamas war continues in the Middle East, Jewish day schools in the United States have opened up their doors to hundreds of Israeli students. About 92% of Jewish day schools in the U.S. and Canada have received inquiries about enrolling Israeli students since October 7th when the terror group Hamas attacked. And so far, 80% of those schools are now enrolling new students. So far, five Israeli students have enrolled at Joseph and Florence Mandel Jewish Day School in Beechwood, Ohio. The school is not charging tuition and is now getting ready for the possibility of extended enrollment. Jay Lieberman, head of the school at the Joseph and Florence Mandel Jewish Day School with us now to talk more about it. Uh, welcome to you, sir. Thank you for being with us. I'm curious, the people who are coming to your school, uh, some of the new families and students, um, what is their desire? What are they looking for in your school? They're looking for two things, A, to escape the trauma and the uh, the devastation that's going on, especially those that are living up north where there's rockets falling or living those living near the Gaza border. Uh, so they're looking for normalcy, if possible, and, and, and a place that will recreate a feeling of home and safe haven. Um, in addition to that, being a Jewish day school, which uh, supports and is affiliated with Zionism, uh, we're bilingual. And so th these children that come to our school are able to engage in Hebrew as well as learn English. Uh, half, you know, a significant percentage of our faculty speaks Hebrew fluently, including myself. So they're able to uh, they're able to be understood, both for academics as well as social emotionally. We take care of them in all aspects, helping them continue with their math, with uh, their Hebrew language, but also um, dealing with the stresses and the anxieties and the tensions of having left home, some of them with fathers fighting right now uh, for the Israel Defense Forces. So in order to welcome in new students, I mentioned you aren't accepting tuition. How do you pay for this? Do you have to add more staff? Um, what does the future look like in the immediate? So before I answer that, there, there's a, a, a verse um, that was quoted by the famous uh, Mishnahic Rabbi Hillel that says, if I am not for myself, who will be for me? If I am only for myself, what am I? And if not now, when? That's exactly how the, the faculty, the leadership, the lay leadership here of Mandel Jewish Day School felt about this. It wasn't even a question. We have to stand up and we have to do what we have to do. So um, we didn't even think about the, the issue of, of additional tuition or cost for the school. We have engaged another teacher who is teaching, who's qualified to teach English as a second language. And we reached out to one or two um, psychologists or social workers here in the greater Cleveland community who um, happen to speak Hebrew if these kids require, many of them do, um, um, services to be able to express themselves. At some point, the Jewish Federation of Greater Cleveland has said that um, they would stand behind all the schools here uh, if, uh, in terms of reimbursing us for additional costs. But even if they don't, and I think they will, of course, I have confidence, um, my board and my community will do whatever we can to provide this home away from home for them, regardless of cost. And as you prepare to receive these families, these students, what are you realizing is the, the greatest immediate need? A hug, <laughs> you know, something physical, something to let them know that, that you know, they're, they're a real person, that, that we care about them individually. That's so critical for us. Um, we reach out to their families. So before the Sabbath comes in on Friday, we brought them uh, candles and food, and we, we've arranged all sorts of meals for their families at home, so they could um, they could feel really good that they've they're no they're not at home, but there's a community that really has welcomed them. So I I, I think it, it's again creating an atmosphere that is welcoming and understanding, and giving them space, so when they are stressed out or they're exhibiting, you know, extreme anxiety because of fears. Um, they know that there, there are, are adults in their lives here at the school and the community that will understand them and will help them deal with it. And what are the conversations happening around anti-Semitism as we see a rise in anti-Semitic threats across the country against schools, organizations, and those of the Jewish faith? Um, how do you work to combat that hate? And what are the discussions that are happening in, in your community? Well, our school is part of a, a, a national organization of no place for hate. So we combat all forms of discrimination, all forms of bigotry. And, and I have repeated uh, numerous times to our middle schoolers and our older kids that we're not at war, God forbid, with Islam. 
We're not at war with Muslims. We're at war with Hamas. We're at war with those people who want to murder us. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.